Nestled on top of a grassy hill in Fort Zumwalt Park is a beautiful brick home that was once referred to as Stony Point and built around 1886 by Darius Heald, a prosperous plantation owner, a former Missouri legislator, and a community leader who gave land for the Methodist Church and who helped establish the Woodlawn Institute for the Education of Young Women. On this episode of O'Fallon Matters, we'll find out more about O'Fallon's distant past by rewinding back to the life of Darius Heald. Born in 1822, Darius Heald was raised in Jacob Zumwalt's log house. He married and widowed twice and all eight of his children were born there. Commonly called the fort, the log house stood downhill of the location of his newly constructed two-story brick house. Darius' wives, who were cousins, had been cultured women from privileged families in Virginia. He and his first wife, Carolyn V. Campbell Heald, had three children, Mary, Nathan, and John. He and his second wife, Martha A. Maddie Hunter Heald, had five daughters, Lillian, Edmonia, Rebecca, Martha, and Francis. By the time Darius moved into his new brick house at the age of 64, his Stony Point plantation had grown to more than a thousand acres. The farm produced wheat, oats, rye, hay, wool, honey, butter, and also livestock. And in the tradition of the Old South, Darius earned a reputation for extending hospitality. No traveler was turned from his door unfed. He won prizes for exhibiting fine horses, and he was reputed to be a great hunter and a fine shot. When he served in the Missouri legislature, he successfully introduced the first state law for the protection of game. Darius Heald died on November 24, 1904 after a brief illness. He was 82 years old. The funeral was held at Stony Point Plantation and he was buried in the family cemetery on the grounds. In 1916 and 17, the house was sold out of the family. Darius and other family members' remains were exhumed and reburied in Mount Zion Cemetery located in O'Fallon. In 1978, the city of O'Fallon purchased both the historic Heald home and park property on which it stood for a dollar from the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. Then in 2001, the city restored the Heald home, maintaining the original interior woodwork and reopening the fireplaces throughout the house. Since then, the Heald home has served as one of the city's historic attractions. The Heald home is a nice representation of the history of O'Fallon, where O'Fallon came from. Um, it really makes you realize that there is a beginning to O'Fallon, not just the boom of O'Fallon that most people will remember for today. The Heald Home is open for tours, and you don't want to miss out on getting a look at this historic O'Fallon gem. The Heald Home will be open for tours on a regular basis. Uh, we have changed the structure of that just slightly. There is now a touring season, and that season is May through September, and it's on the second and the fourth Sunday of each month. It's open from noon until three o'clock during those time frames. If you would like more information on the Heald Home, you can call 636-379-5614 and keep watching future episodes of O'Fallon Matters to learn about our past, because knowing where we came from can help us create a better future.